Hello Jahan and good morning everyone. In today's class we are going to discuss the new chapter which name is bills of exchange. So what is the meaning of bills of exchange? Uh, why it is written? In which case it is written? What are the types of bills of exchange? How the treatment will be there? All that things we will discuss in this particular chapter. So first understand the meaning of bills of exchange. So our chapter name is bills of exchange. देखो बच्चा bills of exchange uh, before understanding the meaning just understand one situation. One person okay suppose A and one person B is there. Ab A sold the goods to B. A, A sold the goods to B. Okay. And B is not able to make the payment right now. So B requested be requested to give some time to A and said that I will make the payment after three months. Understand the situation. A is a person who sold the goods to B. B is not able to make the payment right now. So B requested to A if I give some relaxation, I will not make the payment in right now because I am not in the condition to make the payment. Give me the time of three months. Okay. And this request is accepted by A. So for the future safety, A write this all content, this all content and send to B to accept it. Ab now B accepted both party put the signature on that and this paper is known as bills of exchange. Okay, beta. This paper is known as bills of fiction. So this is what this is a layman language. Now we will understand the meaning of professional one also. So bill of exchange is what it is a type of a paper where two person buyers and sellers both are putting signature and where buyer give the order buyer accept the order of seller that okay I will make the payment after three months, after two months, whatever the condition is mentioned. Okay. So basically what is bills of exchange? So bills of exchange is a negotiable instrument. So bill of exchange is what is a negotiable instrument? As per the negotiable instrument act 1881 and section 5. Take it. The bill of exchange is defined under the Negotiable Instrument Act 1881, Section 5. And what this section is saying that this section is saying that it is an unconditional order. It is an unconditional order signed by the signed by the purchaser and seller both. Okay signed by the purchaser and seller both to pay the certain money to pay the certain money after a certain time okay so bacha this is the three very important point what you have to mention so before going to the definition understand the meaning of negotiable negotiable instrument is what which can be transferred from one person to other person like suppose if you give the bills of exchange to me 
and I'm the seller, so I can transfer that bill to someone else also. So that is what the bill can be transferred from one person to the person. Like check can be transferred from one person to other person. Like suppose now one check is their bearer check, which can be transferred from one person to the person who hold the check. That person will receive the payment. Similarly, in the bill of exchange also, bacha, who hold the bill of exchange, the person will get it the amount. That's why bills of exchange is known as negotiable instrument. So your first thing that why it is a negotiable instrument because it can be transferred from one person to other person for getting the money and who holds the bill of exchange, the person will get it the money on the due date, on the maturity date. Number two is unconditional. It is not any condition that if you will not make the payment then this will happen, this will happen, uh, I will take your bike, I will take your property. There is no such type of conditions are there. And third point is very important that in bill of exchange, the both parties, purchaser and sellers are accept this, sign this, where seller give the order to the purchaser to pay the certain money after a certain period of time and purchaser accept it. That's why purchaser have to pay. So I hope bill of exchange is clear to you. The meaning of bill of exchange is clear to you. Okay, so bill of exchange, in which condition bill of exchange is written? Bacha, fourth point, you remember that bill of exchange is written in the time of credit transaction. Okay, so when credit transaction takes place, when cash transaction is there, there, there is no uh, need of bill of exchange. But when it is a credit transaction, then only the need of bill of exchange is there where one person purchased the goods on credit and the other person who sold the goods on credit need a proof that you will make the payment after three months, after two months. And for that, they, the seller write the bill and purchaser accept the bill. So that's why we can say that bill of exchange is there in the time yeah, in the case of credit transactions only. So, but this picture is clear because from this particular picture MCQ will come. Like a bill of exchange is written under which act? That is Indian Negotiable Instrument Act 1881 section 5. Section always remember. Second, bill of exchange is conditional or unconditional? So it is unconditional. Third, that bill of exchange is signed by how many parties? So it is signed by both person. Seller and purchaser both. Okay. And bill of exchange is written in which situation? Cash or credit? So it is written in credit situation. Okay. Now, Bacha, we will discuss the features of bill of exchange. That what are the features of bill of exchange? Features of bill of exchange. Now, a very simple thing is there. The number one feature is that very, very important that bill of exchange must be it must be in writing. Because if it is in writing, it will act as a proof. Generally, what happened? You purchase the goods from me on credit. You purchase the goods from me on credit. And you make my promise that, okay, I will make the payment after three months. We have this conversation. We have this deal orally. When after completing three months, when I reach to you, if I give the payment, then you will deny. Maybe you will deny. No, no, I said uh, it is 30 months, not three months. So I don't have any proof. But when it is written on a piece of paper, both party had signed already. So that written document will act as a proof. Next, second picture. 
सेकेंड इज वॉट बच्चा दैट इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ ऑर्डर डॉक्यूमेंट इट इज नॉट अ रिक्वेस्ट इट इज अर्डर ऑर्डर सेलर गिव द ऑर्डर टू परचेज टू पे द सर्टेन अमाउंट ऑन अ सर्टेन टाइम तो वॉट इज द फ्यूचर ऑफ बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ ऑर्डर डॉक्यूमेंट थर्ड already we had discussed it is a unconditional document so it is unconditional that any condition is not imposed in the bill of exchange that if you will not make the payment that day this will be happen this will be happen i will take this assets i will take that assets it is purely unconditional no fixed conditions are there and the fourth one is bachcha the amount the amount and date both is already mentioned the amount and date both is already mentioned ki what the amount will be paid what the date will be there on which date the amount will be paid that all things will be mentioned and अच्छा भाई अब देखो यहां पे आपको एक चीज इन बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज द सेलर इज नोन बाय द वर्ड ड्रॉर तो इंस्टेड ऑफ सेलर बच्चा वी यूज द वर्ड ड्रॉर एंड ड्रॉर इज ओनली मेक द बिल दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर बच्चा प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस who writes the bill drawer write the bills who is who is drawer seller drawer is seller so in the bill of exchange bachcha we not use the word seller and purchaser instead of that a specific word is there so seller is basically known as drawer and drawer is a person who make the bill theek hai sixth one is there purchaser is known as drawee and drawee is a person who accept the bill drawee is a person who accept the bill this is also very important and bachcha the sixth one is the sixth one is what bachcha कि बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज विल बी एक्सेप्टेड बाय अमाउंट विल बी एक्सेप्टेड बाय ड्रॉर आर एनी थर्ड पार्टी आल्सो एनी थर्ड पार्टी आल्सो हु होल्ड्स द बिल हु होल्ड्स द बिल ऑन द टाइम ऑफ मैच्योरिटी इन द सेवेंथ the bill of exchange is content a stamp without stamp bill of exchange is invalid so that's why the stamp is already required in bill of exchange so these are the seven features these are the seven features i just repeat one more time for you that bill of exchange should be written it should not be oral because only written document will act as a proof next thing is what that bill of exchange is not a request it is a order order come from drawer seller to drawee purchase it is a unconditional document there is no fixed specific conditions are there and in the bill of exchange the amount and date is already mentioned that what will be the amount what you have to pay what will be the date on what we have to be and the seller is known as drawer the seller is known as drawer who is the drawer who make the bill who is the drawer who make the bill okay purchaser is drawee and who is the drawee who accept the bill who is the drawee who accept the bill okay now drawer can accept the payment if the drawer hold the bill 
and if draw transfer the bill to any other party then the other party who hold the bill will receive the amount of payment and the most important is that bill of exchange should be with a proper stamp otherwise it will be not valid ab now bachcha we will discuss the last topic of today the parties of bill of exchange okay so there are what is what is the topic last topic for today theory is parties of bills of exchange the parties of bill of exchange is very simple what is that parties of bill of exchange is bachcha हाउ मेनी पार्टीज आर इन्वॉल्व इन बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज लाइक बच्चा द बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज द नंबर वन पार्टी इज ड्रॉर नंबर वन पार्टी इज ड्रॉर अब हु इज ड्रॉर ड्रॉर इज सेलर ड्रॉर इज पर्सन हु राइट द बिल you can say who make the bill is known as drawer second party is drawing second party is drawer drawer is the purchaser a uh, who accept the bill who accept the bill is drawer theek hai bachcha the drawer is a person who sold the goods and drawer is a person who purchased the goods drawer writes the bill make the bill and drawer who accept the bill and third party is also there third party is also there and this person is known as अब दिस पर्सन इज नोन एज पे अब पे कौन होता है बच्चा वेरी सिंपल इज देयर लाइक हु रिसीव द पेमेंट ऑफ बिल अच्छा डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज द नेम इज पे हा बच्चा तो डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज द नेम इज पे बट इट डजेंट मीन द पर्सन इज मेकिंग द पेमेंट पे इज द पर्सन हु रिसीव द पेमेंट ऑफ बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज ओके अच्छा बच्चा सो दैट कैन बी ड्रॉर ऑल्सो पे कैन बी ड्रॉर ऑल्सो एंड पे कैन बी एनी थर्ड पार्टी अब सर वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस वन ड्रॉर एंड थर्ड पार्टी देखो बच्चा हु इज द सेलर ड्रॉर हु राइट द बिल ड्रॉर सो इफ ड्रॉर कीप द बिल विथ हिम ओनली टिल मैच्योरिटी लाइक सपोज टू मंथ इज टू मंथ इज द बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज मैच्योरिटी डेट ड्यू डेट ऑन दिस डेट द ड्रॉ यू हैव टू मेक द पेमेंट सो टिल टू मंथ ड्रॉर होल्ड द बिल with himself only not transfer the bill to any other one so after two month drawer reach to drawy and demand the payment and drawy have to make the payment on that time okay but if drawer transfer the bill to any third party i'm now here question why drawer will transfer the bill to third party suppose draw need immediate amount draw can not wait for two month draw need the money in urgent so what draw will do draw will simply draw will simply transfer that bill to the bank and receive the amount from bank ab now who hold the bill till maturity bank getting my point like suppose 
I I just write a bill as a drawer on first April. I just write down a bill as a drawer on first April. 2017 for three month. अब अच्छा I will receive the payment from Droy after three month, but on fifth April only. I need the money in urgent. So I will call to my Droy कि भाई अरे I need the money in urgent. Please pay it. The Droy will say that no, we have a contract that I will make the payment after three month. So I will make the payment after three month only. So what option I have? I will go to bank, and I said that I need the money in urgent. Please take this bill of exchange and give it the money to me. So bank will take that bill of exchange and give it the money to me. Now here question: Why the bank will take? What is the profit of bank? Because without profit, there is no business. So, but if the bill amount is five thousand rupees. So bank will give always less than five thousand. Suppose bank give only four thousand eight hundred, and bank cut two hundred rupees as a discount. So this two hundred, what the bank will get it? That is the business. That is a bank profit, and I receive two hundred less. It is my loss. But I need the money in urgent, so I just take it forty eight hundred rupees from bank, and do my work. So on the due date. When the after three month, when the date will come, who hold the bill? Bank. Who hold the bill, bacha? Bank. ठीक है? Draw it. Draw it will make the payment on due date, but draw it already transfer the bill to bank. So who will who will reach to draw it? Bank will reach to draw it, and draw it will make the payment to bank. So who become the pay? Bank. Bank is what, bacha? Third party. Third party means other than drawer and drawee, any party will be known as third party. Look, this is the situation. How the pay can be other than drawer? One more, look. One more situation. Let's see. Suppose, <coughs> suppose A is drawer. B is Drawing. A is draw, B is drawing. ठीक है बच्चा. And goods sold amount is five thousand, and they write down the bill of exchange for that for one month. ठीक है भाई. So A is a drawer, so who hold the bill? A. But Mr. C, to whom A have to make the payment, A have to make the payment. ठीक है भाई. C है and A have to make the payment to C. Mr. C demand कि भाई give my money. A said कि I will receive the amount after one month. Do one thing. Take this bill. Take the the bill of B. Of worth rupees five thousand and settle your account. C said, "Okay, ठीक है. Give it the bill of five thousand rupees. I will receive this five thousand rupees from B after one month. Now, बच्चा, on the date of maturity, the bill will be with Mr. C. So who will receive the payment? Mr. C. Mr. C become pay because Mr. C will receive the payment." ओके तो ए इज ड्रॉ बिकॉज ए सोल्ड द गुड्स बी इज ड्रॉ बिकॉज बी एक्सेप्ट द बिल एंड मिस्टर सी बिकम पे बिकॉज मिस्टर सी विल रिसीव द अमाउंट ऑन द ड्यू डेट फ्रॉम बी ओके सो मिस्टर सी बिकम पे इन द बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज तो ये बच्चा तीन पार्टीज हैं आपकी ड्रॉ ड्रॉ एंड पे तो फॉर टूडे दिस मच इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास I hope that all all students will come from the second of November in the physical classes because I will start from the bills of exchange in physical classes. In physical classes, no revision will be there. 
द क्लासेज विल स्टार्ट एज द लास्ट क्लास एंड